here in this video I'm gonna give you some examples and we're gonna work on some um, practices about views to modify them or change them, duplicate them or control them, whatever which is one of the interesting parts of Dynamo for example I wanna rename the views here we're gonna use a Springs package so get it installed at first and after that Revit and then open selection and then here in collect anyway here I select these views four views five six seven eight the views which I wanna rename and then here I add current selection so here as you can see we got the views which we selected before in levels I mean in Revit and these are accepted here so after that I search your element dot name to get the name of these views check this out level 1 1 2 2 north east west south so in this way and then I add a code block or let me try another way we can create a code block and then define for example name uh, name plus space and double quotation let me show you in this way and then underscore space and then for example I set dimensions in this way and then I close the double quotation here if I give the string to name so in this way the names get changed but what is the function for example you suppose that you want to work on another plans for example setting rooms and uh, measurement or walls or floor or whatever actually to make our job more easier we can duplicate these views anyway right now um, let me search for boolean I add it here and then I set it on false and, af and after that I select these two levels or these four it doesn't make difference or the views which we had selected before so I keep these views and, s and set a name on them so here I type a double quotation IR space underscore or dash a space a double quotation plus and then remove these check this out and after that by using of element element dot set name actually it's for clock for package so don't forget to install it anyway I specify my elements by this and then I give the name check this out in Revit we just have renamed them anyway right now I remove the wire and then I add these two levels I just wanted to create a duplicate true to refresh the list check this out and then here in the code block here I uh, type um, plus um, let me remove the name so let's continue plus a double quotation dash dimension in this way and then I give it to the name very well control Z I remove these actually let me search in the search box for view dot view dot duplicate and this is for clock for package as well so again view dot duplicate here it is which duplicates a given view from clock for package in this way and then I specify the name in this way and then I give the two views level 1 and 2 check this out as you can see that the node has done its job Control Z again Control Z here I remove the wire of name and then I specify the name with element name to do it like this check this out 
Actually, I want to make a copy from the one with the, on the original name. So here, just pre press Ctrl Z to just make a copy from the level one itself, like this. Right click and duplicate view. I remove this. But right now, I, I want to change the name of these. So again, I select these two. And then in Dynamo, I freeze this view duplicate. And then in Collect Current Selection, I switch False and True. Copy. And here I specify the name. And then I specify the selected elements. Check this out. We change the name. But here if I want to remove the copy, copy part, copy one. Here I search for a string that remove this a string that remove and then i specify this string let me open some space here anyway then i want to specify start index so let me count the characters one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i add a code block and ten and then for count um one two three four four characters or indexes check this out um let me check what is the problem actually in this way i just changed the start index and count as you can see 13 and 6 as count and as you can see level 1 and level 2 as a result so i give the string to name in this way we just removed copy one and we change the name so as you can see you can change the names of the views in project browser in a very fast way and easy actually